All the other entries can tell you so. We have sent our senseless souls compassion to and fro. He's the realest full entry we adore. So the realest full entry you know. As the best controller, he told me so. Do you know what? asked Percy. What? grunted Gordon. Do you know what? Silly, said Gordon. Of course I don't know what. If you don't tell me what what is. Sir Topham Hatt says that the work in the yard is too heavy for me. He's getting a bigger engine to help me. Rubbish, said James. Any engine could do it. If you worked more and chattered less, this yard would be a sweeter, a better, and a happier place. Percy went off to fetch some coaches. That stupid old signal, he thought. He was remembering the time he misunderstood a signal, gone backwards instead of forwards. No one listens to me now. They think I'm a silly little engine and order me about. I'll show them. I'll show them. But he didn't know how. By the end of the afternoon, he felt tired and unhappy. He brought some coaches to the station. Hello, Percy, said Sir Topham Hatt. You look tired. Yes, sir. I am, sir. I don't know if I'm standing on my dome or on my wheels. You look the right way up to me, laughed Sir Topham Hatt. Cheer up. The new engine is bigger than you and can probably do the work alone. Would you like to help build my new harbor? Thomas and Toby will help, too. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. The new engine arrived. What's your name? asked Sir Topham Hatt. Montague, sir, but I'm usually called Duck. They say I want I don't really, sir, but I like Duck better than Montague. Good. Duck and Shelby. Here, Percy, show Duck around. The two engines went off together. Soon and very busy. James, Gordon, and Henry watched Duck. Gordon and Henry watched Duck quietly doing his work. He seems a simple sort of engine. We'll have some fun and order him about. Smoke billowed everywhere. Smoke billowed everywhere. Percy was cross, but Duck took no notice. They'll get tired of it soon. Do they tell you to do things, Percy? Yes, they do, answered Percy. Right, said Duck. We'll soon stop that nonsense. He whispered something. We'll do it later. Malcolm <laughs> Hat was looking forward to hot buttered toast for tea at home. Suddenly he heard an extraordinary noise. said, hurry to the yard. Percy calmly sat on the switches outside the shed, refusing to let the engines in. Gordon, James, and Henry were furious. Stop that noise, bellowed Sir Topham Hatt. They won't let us in, hissed Gordon. Duck, explain this behavior. Beg pardon, sir, but I'm a great Western engine. We do our work without fuss. But begging your pardon, sir, 
Percy and I would be glad if you would inform these uh, engines that we only take orders from you. Quiet, said Sir Tottenham. Percy and Duck, I am pleased with your work today, but not with your behavior tonight. You have caused a disturbance. Gordon, Henry, and James sniggered. As for you, funded Sir Topham Hatt, you've been worse. You who made the disturbance. Duck is quite right. This is my railway, and I give the orders. After Percy went away, Duck was left to manage alone. He did so easily.